thing I love to address because people always ask me these, these types of questions and there's always a reoccurring theme weight loss yes so with the gluten-free you know again we, we talk about being celiac we talk about being sensitive to it which is why people are now removing it from their diets but I've heard that people you know go gluten-free to lose weight yes true or false True and false. So it's very trendy to be gluten free right now. So very. I do not <laughs> send all of my clients to be on a gluten free lifestyle. But if I feel it's warranted, I will. Um, the reason why some people lose weight when they go gluten free is because they can't have and snack on all this stuff that's sitting around at parties. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I went gluten free because I had to, the brownies that were sitting there, they're off limits now. So no! this, I know, I know. It's tragic. But when, what ends up happening <laughs> is that you just can't have that stuff. And so all of a sudden your, your caloric intake or your sugar intake just decreases. And that what, that's what ended up happening to me. I just couldn't have that stuff as often and I ended up losing 10 pounds without trying. Um, you can easily put on weight though if you are eating gluten-free foods because they typically have more sugars in them because they take away the, the sticky, yes. gooey, yummy part of the bread. Right. But they actually have to add more sugars in to make them more palatable. So they add in more sugar and they use a lot of white rices and white potato flours, which are higher on the glycemic okay. index. So all of a sudden people start gaining weight. So you really don't need to go gluten free unless you, it's warranted. Okay. Um, so all basically what you're saying is all hope is not lost. We can still eat and snack. I can still eat and snack. Okay. And I'm gluten free. <laughs> and I love to eat. Okay. Yeah. So you did bring us some treats. We've got some alternatives. There's one thing I want to address right away that you, you told me before the show. I just want to jump into it because a lot of people when you go gluten free you think I can't eat pasta anymore. So for all of my pasta loving fans, there is hope. There, there yes. is hope, I swear. All I right. actually had pasta for dinner last night. Did and it you? was delicious. So, okay. Yeah. Tell us your secret. Go okay. for it. Well, so there's different ways. So when, you know, we're used to eating white wheat pasta, but when you go gluten-free, you can't eat wheat anymore. So you need to find alternatives. So one of the alternatives is that you can eat white rice pasta, but again, it's just white, which is yeah. high on the glycemic index, so it, it's going to cause you to gain weight, potentially. So what you can do is you can actually make your own pasta. Awesome. And this is a really cool machine. It's called a spiralizer. And what you do is you put your vegetable, whether it's zucchini, this is sweet potato that I've awesome. made, so you can see that it's turned that into a spaghetti. That's um, and you that. basically just put oh, it through a machine, so pretty. turn it, and it turns into a pasta. Nice that is. So it's not as... Like it doesn't have the pasta it's texture, not to be, but, but if you, you know. have a really great sauce on it, it's awesome. amazing. There you go. You can also use um, kelp noodles, these which you can really find nice. in many health food stores, and these have no flavor to them, so they take on whatever flavor from the sauce you add. Um, and other thing that I recommend to people is spaghetti squash. Yes, if you bake it in the oven, you just shred it with a, a fork, it turns into Isn't spaghetti. It pretty, it's pretty awesome. 